Yes, this is a wide uh, subject, and I'm afraid that you will get tired, but we will see how things will go. Uh, ergonomy, which is a knowledge, body of knowledge that Dr. Rach has uh, set forth, uh, actually started uh, from the womb of uh, Freud's psychoanalysis. As you saw in the movie, uh, the um, uh, Rach was a student of Freud, and first was a psychoanalyst uh, himself. Uh, but later on, they split from each other, and we will talk about it later on. Rach was a student of Freud and very devoted to his cause. Actually, um, in one of his books, Function of Orgasm, um, uh, Rach uh, describes about Freud, says that um, when he saw Freud first, uh, when he was a medical student, he approached uh, Freud uh, because they wanted to have some um, uh, information about sexuality. They were st studying sexual, uh, sexuality in medical uh, school. This is the description that Reich makes about Freud. He says, Freud was different. Whereas the others all played some kind of a role, he did not put on any airs. He spoke with me like a completely ordinary person. He had a bright, intelligent eyes, which did not seek to penetrate another person's eyes, but simply look at the world in an honest and truthful way. I had been apprehensive in going to him. I went away cheerfully, cheerful and happy. From that day on, I spent 14 years intensive work in and for psychoanalysis. At the end, I was severely disappointed in Freud. Fortunately, the disappointment did not lead to hatred and rejection. I am happy to have been his student for such a long time without having criticized him prematurely and with complete devotion to his cause. Um, Freud, actually, to tell you how Reich, Reich's theories evolved, I have to tell you the uh, Freud's uh, uh, theories. Freud had three major theories, libido theory, topographic theory, and structural theory. The top, uh, libido theory is the theory that he initially, one of his uh, uh, initial first theories, that uh, uh, he, by observing children, he realized that uh, there is an innate energy in the child uh, uh, that initially is concentrated on the oral area. The children um, uh, are more intensely, um, they, they uh, put things in their mouth, they suck things. And uh, later on, as they grow in the second year, uh, they, that energy becomes, moves, develops into anal area and then genital area. Around age three, they are more, uh, uh, that's a called, uh, what is called genital area. Uh, uh, and uh, then the topographic theory is the theory of conscious and unconscious, and the structural theory, the theory of id ego, super ego. These three. These three theories um, somehow overlap with each other in different areas. Um, uh, libido theory, as I said, is a sex, uh, psychosexual energy operating in newborn and the source of propagation of life. Instincts get their power from this energy source and neurosis develops when this energy is obstructed. Topographic theory is again uh, the theory of uh, conscious and unconscious and uh, psychoneurotic symptoms are manifestation of conflict which is rooted in the unconscious of the person and Freud post postulated that by psychoanalytic technique when the unconscious becomes conscious, neurotic symptoms should improve. And the structural theory uh, that, uh, that came later, that uh, uh, Freud developed this theory relatively later, uh, he postulated that there are three components in uh, psychic structure. It, which is instinct instinctual striving, a component that uh, has all in instinctual strivings. Ego, which faces and interacts with the world, and superego, which is internalized social and parental and religious values. Approval and disapproval of the person is the superego's 
so-called uh, that uh, department function, and it creates guilt and demands punitive measures. Freud also uh, suggested two types of neurosis. One was stasis neurosis. In, in that neurosis, he uh, postulated that when, uh, because of some unhealthy sexual life, sexual abstinence, the uh, libido energy gets, uh, gets uh, blocked and dammed up, this energy accumulates and causes toxic reaction in the body and causes some uh, palpitation and uh, um, hyperventilation. So he called this stasis neurosis, or sometimes they call it actual neurosis. But then there was a, another type of neuro, oh, and he said that for treatment of sexual, uh, this stasis neurosis, just a little bit of uh, counseling and uh, helping the person um, uh, not to be abstinent might help the stasis neurosis to improve. And however, the psychoneurosis, he says that is like the person who had the obsessional thoughts or um, phobias, etc., has underlying core, uh, ha has a conflict, which is, uh, the conflict is in unconscious and needs psychoanalytic technique to treat the person, but nevertheless has an underlying core of stasis neurosis, underlying core of accumulation of libido energy, um, dammed up energy, so-called. Right later on say that, well, then there is no difference. It should be both same. However, this is the two types of neurosis that Freud postulated. Uh, for the treatment of uh, neurosis, uh, Freud suggested that when the person is, uh, when the unconscious conflict gets uh, conscious, the person must improve. The neurosis should improve. Uh, when the unconscious roots of neurotic symptoms become conscious, the patient must improve. However, later on he changed that. He said that he may improve. His psychoanalytic technique was that uh, the patient uh, lies on the couch and the analyst sits on the top of the, uh, the head of the couch and the patient is uh, um, encouraged to free associate talk and talk whatever comes to their mind. And the assumption is by talking, one idea will bring another idea, like links of a chain, and eventually it will get to unconscious, and the analyst helps a little bit, gives suggestions. So when the unconscious becomes conscious, then uh, the person should uh, get better, neurosis should improve. Also, uh, interpretation of dream was one of the things that Freud suggested uh, as a tool or means to get to the unconscious uh, because dreams uh, symbolically reflect unconscious conflict but needs interpretation. So these were the type of uh, um, such, uh, therapeutic uh, techniques that uh, was suggested by psychoanalysis, Freudian psychoanalysis. Uh, however, uh, this that, that did not uh, materialize. Uh, I'll get this one. In the November uh, 29th of 1993, the Time magazine had the uh, um, article. This is the face, the, the face of the Time magazine, under uh, the uh, topic of is Freud dead. And by the end of the article, the author um, concludes that psychoanalysis and all of its offshoots may in final analysis turn out to be no more reliable than countless other pseudosciences that once offered unsubstantiated answers or false solace. Now this is a heavy word because Freud's discoveries, I think, uh, is a major discovery. Freud is the one who discovered libido energy, childhood sexuality, presence of unconscious, which it must bring some significant changes for neurosis. However, this was the result after so many years that